Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now we're in South Carolina. We're going to be doing a driving tour of the Lancaster Township. I believe we're in Lancaster City. It's a town in South Carolina about 25, 20 or so minutes away from the borderline of North Carolina. On the left-hand side is a trash can that reads City of Lancaster. So we're gonna explore, explore this a little bit more. If you were recently with us, you know we just did a walking tour of the Lancaster area. And it's still raining. It's been raining the last couple days. So we wanted to be productive and try to get out here and capture footage despite the rain. It's been raining on and off all morning. So we waited for this dry spurt so we can come out and take a look at the area. The weather's looking like 78 degrees today. We're approaching Willie Park Road. We're on Central Ave, the intersection of Central Ave and Willie Park Road. I'm going to make a left hand turn. Let's make this left hand turn. We're in a residential area. This is not far from the downtown historic district. It's probably several minutes away. We got a brick house on the right painted gray. The original bricks were painted over. We had another brick house on the right that has the original bricks. I see some chain link fence, a huge lot with overgrown weeds, grass, plants. On the left, we got some trees. On the right, I see a mailbox. A nice driveway that leads over to a pretty cool house. They got brick podiums in the entrance of their driveway. Now I know this neighborhood is pretty uh, diverse. When I say diverse, I mean you will go from one area and there'll be well-kept, pretty clean homes. You'll go just maybe a couple yards down the road and you'll run into a home that, like on my right hand side, the siding is, is falling off. It's not in the best of shape. I mean, the, the house is there, but it could be better. And then the houses are so far off that I'm not sure how many of you guys would be able to take in the actual views. Let's make this right hand turn. Take a look at this house right here on the left. It looks like there's a shed that's upside down. On my left hand side, it looks like there's a shed flipped upside down. Yep. It looks like it was made out of aluminum siding, so surprisingly. Yeah, it looks like aluminum. That's worth some money if they break the shed down, take it to scrap yard, you get a couple bucks for it. Not much, but you'll get something for it. Better than trashing it. The street we're on, we're on Woodland Drive. This will end up taking us back to the main street. We got some brick homes on the right hand side. Pretty good shape. Long driveways, over 60 feet long. Really long driveways. Nice green grass. This house coming up has some nice trees trees with pink flowers it has a really tall tree too that tree is probably like 20 feet then it has some interesting tropical looking uh trees they look like they were imported in this lawn has bricks surrounding the property line under every driveway i see a cement pipe probably a foot in circumference and I believe that's to help with the rainwater. Sends it downhill. Right now we're driving downhill. In front of most of the houses, it looks like there's a little moat. Do 
we got a big building back there over there which looks to be like it's on the main street the main street i'm talking about is west meeting street we got a trampoline on my right hand side now don't get the main street confused with actual main street if you're from this area like tune that's not the main street main street is called main street there's a street that takes you to the historic district it drives right through it it's called main street but right now we're on the back blocks in this area the next main street close to here is um, where right here at this corner you make a right it takes you straight to west meeting and you'll see a bunch of like medical practice offices i believe there's a little quickie mart we're approaching a, a soccer field right here see right on my right you got mante pediatrics carolina cardiology associates and so on carolina heat i mean uh, I'm, I'm sorry heart specialist llc on my right hand side so we're gonna make this left hand turn because we're gonna try to explore some of these little back areas if we go right we're gonna see some commercial buildings I'm interested in seeing the housing. We got on my right hand side, Lancaster County Parks and Recreation, Melvin L. Steele Memorial Field. Now, to my knowledge, I was told that there's tons and tons of people who play soccer there. Like it's a very active park. Speed limit is 45 miles an hour. I'm going a little over 20. I was going slower, but I got cars that are gonna slowly be approaching me soon. So we're gonna take this road straight down and we won't be able to make a left to probably another block or two. This is pretty much like a really long block, but we'll be able to make a left soon. Siren's Bridge, Isis Before Road. I guess we just passed the Lancaster Community Garden. I guess when it freezes up over here, maybe the bridge gets icy and they're trying to warn you. I'm gonna make this left right here. Okay, looks like we made a left into a church. <laughs> We turn into a church, guys. This should take us back to the main street, though. Or another main street around here. Yeah, right here, boom. So we literally just went to a church. You guys got a chance to see one of these South Carolina churches. We got two young gentlemen right here. One has a book bag. The other has an umbrella. Looks like they probably just came out of school. This is Temple, Temple Baptist Church on my left hand side. All right, we're gonna make a left. We got a lot more greenery on my right hand side. We got Frazier Car Wash on my left hand side, which looks to be abandoned. Crossing a little bridge. A lot of the greenery around here seems to be overgrown, like wild. A lot of wild greenery. Right, I'm gonna try to make a left here. I'm gonna try to zigzag through this little area. This is some of the neighborhood around here. Oh no, let me see. Make sure that's not flooded. No, all right. Just wanted to be sure. Don't want to drive through no flooding. This looks like a little back block. We just turned onto Jackson Road. We got an abandoned house on my right hand side, far right. I'm sure you guys got a chance to get a little peek at it. It looks like it doesn't even have a roof. We got a trailer on my right hand side. That trailer is behind the house. We're gonna be approaching Cross Street. I'm gonna to try to make a right on Cross Street if possible. There's a stop sign here. I wonder if that's a two-way street. Let me 
take a look. It looks like it might be a two-way street. Look, you got a house over there and a couple cars. There's a dog, a nice pit bull on my left-hand side staring at us. You see him? I don't know if you guys can really take him in. Punch buggy, no punchback. Sock whoever around you. I don't care if it's your mother, your brother, your father, your sister. Check it out. A beetle on my right-hand side. All right, so now Cross Street merges to First Street. We're on First Street. There's a lot for sale on my left. We got a house on my right-hand side. We're going uphill. This is a very steep hill. Oh, here's a better look at the house that I told you that was on fire. You see it on my right-hand side? It's abandoned. There's a bunch of sofas. And it looks like trees are growing through it. It, it, it caught on fire, basically. I want to go left and then make another left to 2nd Street. But I see a sign over there that I want to read that has caught my attention. And let's see if what I thought I saw was correct. Uh, Springs Lancaster Plant. You see that sign over there? It's a sign. It's it kind of hidden behind some bushes. But it says Spring Lancaster Plant. I just wanted to document that right there. It's next to some uh, train tracks. All right, so now we're gonna turn on the second street. Right here on second street, we got an abandoned house on my right hand side and a sign that reads crime watch zone. See the house is boarded up. Then we got a variety of country style homes. Now we're going downhill. It may not appear that way on camera, but this is a very steep downhill compared to most of the leveled roads. Now there is a street right here that we can take. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go right. And then it should take us to Third Street. If I'm correct. Alright, on my right hand side, we have Third Street. Look, we got a house on my left hand side. Wow, there's two cats right there on one's wagging his tail. Oh, it looks like a kitten. Wow, it looks like a kitten. And then the other one looks a little older. But there's two cats right on the front of that property. They have something covered with a brown tarp. I will move a little closer to the cats, but I really want to make this right. Look at the cats are staring at us now. I don't know if you guys can make good judgment. Let me them give them a little sound effect. <laughs> they just staring at me. Ask them if they could subscribe and turn on the notification bell to tell all the other cats on the block that we from Philly and we here. <laughs> Oh, there's another cat on my right hand. Another cat on my right hand. There's two cats. There's a white one, and there's one sitting on this porch. Sheesh. There was literally a cat on top of a vehicle. It was sitting on the roof of the pickup truck. There's an abandoned house right here on my left. I'm going to try to reverse it because I didn't even notice it. I'm going to shine a little bit more light on it. Look at, look at this house right here. This is abandoned. See it? No trespassing violators will be prosecuted. It looks like it's all there. That one doesn't seem to be burned, but it does have some uh, trees and stuff growing out the back. So you don't know how bad that got into the structure. I'm on Third Street. We're gonna make this left-hand turn coming up. There's a lot on my right hand side, a big vacant lot with a bunch of, looks like concrete slabs thrown in the middle of it. And in between the concrete slabs, there's weeds. It's signifying that those concrete slabs have been laying there for quite some time in order for mother nature to take over 
and start growing through it. Look at this house on my right. They did a wacky patch job on the roof. They got gray shingles, then they got green shingles, red shingles, then they got like roof patches and all of that. I mean, I guess, wow, look at that shed. That shed's standing on cinder blocks. Looks very unsafe. <laughs> um, I guess, you know, when you're in a low income situation, you gotta do what you gotta do. So you're not worried about a appeal. You're not worried about appearance. You just want to stop the leak. So although it sounds like I made a slight pun, you know, I understand what it's like living in poverty. So if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. You just got to patch it up by all means. All right, so now we're back at Cross Street. We're at 4th and Cross. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. No cars on my left, I'm being very cautious. These are like really, really back roads. Really, really like off in the ducky. Off in the ducky, it's like slang for like discreet, middle of nowhere type of roads. We're on 5th Street, we just left 5th and Cross. We got a Nissan with some rims on my left. Got some lime green shutters on my right. It's like bright green. That's that shed on my right that was on uh, cinder blocks. We got a nice little Odyssey right here. Wow, the house with the patched up roof had a nice little Odyssey park next to it. And they got a pool in the yard. So it goes to show you. They said, look at why spend money on fixing the roof when we can have a nice Odyssey? <laughs> I don't blame them. I guess, like I said, as long as you stop the leak. We got two older folks right here on my left-hand side. Ah, you see one of them drinking, staring. There's another one. One seems to be like a Caucasian male. The other one seems to be an African-American male. There's a cross right here. Wow, there's like a rest in peace cross, ladies and gentlemen. Right here on 6th Street. 6th and South York. Those two gentlemen pretty much eyed this vehicle the whole entire way. Looks like they're out drinking. I don't know if they had a cup of coffee or, or alcoholic beverage in their hand, but they definitely were drinking some type of liquid. The portion on my right hand side has a bunch of junk on it. A bunch of toys, trash. They got this house right here on my right that looks like they're rehabilitating because they put new framework, you see it? So somebody must have bought it and now they're trying to repair it. They gutted it out. 1126th Street. On my left, the porch has a giant hole in it. And yeah, the house looks like it could use some TLC. The back looks, wow, that's actually gutted, dude. Posted private property. The one on my left, there's nobody living in it. You can see straight through it. There's no uh, walls or anything. So there's a lot of abandoned houses in this area, surprisingly. They had a nice little uh, side deck on, on their home made out of wood panels. So that'd be cool. The house on my right looks like two story. You see it, the blue one? And then we got an RV right here, guys. It looks like a 80s RV. Nice shiny tires, I give them that. Leisure craft, ah, that's called a leisure craft. You hear that? <laughs> we got two cars on my right that appear to be covered, yeah. All right, so let's make this left. We're on Barron Road. We're gonna make this left. And now we're on Cross Street, but then we're gonna make a right coming up at Hunter Street. Private property on my left-hand side. No trespassing. Heed warning to those signs because when I went to the local Walmart, we at Hunter and Cross. They have guns as low as 129. You know, it's something that you know you can have in your house for protection. So I have a 129, 159, 179, 229, 
275 different with different gauges you know they're hunting rifles but guess what you can hunt humans with them too <laughs> you could definitely shoot a human with a hunting rifle and that's something that i would not want to gamble around here when you trespass on the wrong property yeah you might not uh get lucky <coughs> Alright, we're on Hunter Street. We're on Hunter and Rickenbacker. Let's make this left on Rickenbacker. That sounds like an interesting name. Rickenbacker. Rickenbacker. We're on Rickenbacker Street. The houses on my right, these three, they're uniform. They seem to be made out of cinder blocks. Whoever constructed these houses on this block must have been like one entity that invested in the area because they're all the same color. They're all cinder blocks. Now that I look at it, all the ones on my right, they're all the same color, all the same cinder blocks, all the same cosmetic shutters, all gray um, shingles. And who knows? Maybe it might be, I don't know, a slumlord that, that owned the block. I don't know if this was like some type of housing program back in the... 90s or 2000s where they made the houses affordable you know what I mean but I'm surprised that they were all uniform we're approaching Willie, Willie Street we got a pool in front of us guys Willie Street Pool we're next to Perry Plaza we're on Willie and Rickenbacker I'm going to make this left hand turn That's a huge lot on my right hand side. That lot will come in handy for many things. Let me make this right hand turn on Barron Boulevard. We got a church on my right hand side, Secondary Baptist Church, Segunda Iglesia Bautista, Calvary Campus. We got some more houses on my left hand side. These houses do not appear to be completely uniform. The stylization is similar. The first floors are made with bricks, the brick pointed. Uh, but the vinyl siding is painted slightly different. And this one actually has a different style of siding. It's, it's a lot larger panel. The houses on my right are brick too. The ones on my left looked a little taller. The ones on my right looked a little bit lower. This house on my left hand side has a lot of Halloween decorations on it. Pink, purple, orange. Matter of fact, I don't even see any pink. No, there is, there is some, some pink streaks. Um, green, the cobwebs and all of that. They try to get festive with it. Okay, so I can go straight. We already came from that end in front of us. That's where 6th Street, if we keep going straight, we'll hit 6th Street and cross so let's go left we got a huge piece of land on my right hand side and there's some houses down down there I mean, that's good like if you have a dog or even if you have like a little four-wheeler it's cool for entertainment purposes you go out to your yard you ride your little four-wheeler when you got kids like this house on my right is abandoned to reverse it for you guys so that you can see look at this wow there's only two houses on this block oh there's one behind us I'm sorry so there's only three houses on this block three houses on an entire block alright let's make I want to go left. Let's go right. Try something different. Alright, we're on York Street, South York. If I make a right up, we just passed it. Wow, it was all bushes. On the map, it showed it as a street, but that, that block was just covered in bushes.
Alright, we got 7th Street right here. We'll turn left on 7th Street. See where 7th Street takes us. There was another little block that we just passed. Some of these blocks that come up on the map. I'm sorry, we just passed our destination because we definitely want to go forward. In front of us is train track. It's a private property railroad crossing. On my right is that lot with the uh, cement slabs with weeds growing through it. We want to go left. This is Elm Street. We're on Elm Street. You remember, remember? Yeah, we're on Elm Street. There's a little dog on my left hand side inside the yard. Chewing on something. What are you chewing on? Wood, doggy? Oh, it's like a little pup. A little puppy. Bro, you chewing on wood? Oh, he's bored. He's a cute dog, too. Dang. Cute dog. He was like probably four months old. Maybe a little older, probably like five months. It was so tiny though, it was a pit bull breed. Walking through this neighborhood, we saw several pit bulls. Yup, we saw several pit bulls. I saw, I think, one husky. Got some cool houses on the left. We got a house for sale too on the left hand side. We got what looks to be like another abandoned property on my right hand side. So look at this, let me describe this to you, visually. You got this house for sale right here. It looks like it's in good shape. For sale, there you go. Info, call 24 seven, you can text them, whatever. They just wanna sell the house. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, the cinder blocks that are surrounding the lawn could use some help, some rehab work. It could be mowed, but the house itself is presentable. It's painted white, clean. The red axis painted red. It got the, the siding. It got, see the chimney. I see the little um, shutters for aesthetic purposes. I don't know what the inside looks, but it looks okay, right? Not bad. Then you go across the street and you have this abandoned house. That's probably why they're selling. They probably, you know, want to try to move to a better place who knows maybe i don't know i'm just making an assumption here but the question is would you buy that house across the street from this house if i could i'll buy both of them if i could i'll buy that one and then i'll buy the one across the street pimp it out either rent it or have a family member living there maybe rent it to a family member or something you know what i mean the good thing is you know that you'll be on the block that is very little activity Uh, let's make this left on Cedar Street. I see a Mercedes parked in the drive through. I see two Mercedes parked in the drive through on my left. Gentleman on my left was sitting on his porch on his phone. Trash can on my right. Some type of sign. Can't read it. We got a car coming towards us. It's a female in the vehicle. We got an abandoned house on my left hand side. If that's not abandoned, then wow. No, I think it is. Wow, it might not be. It looks abandoned. But somebody might be living in it. I'm going to make this right on Night Street. I see another abandoned house right here in front of us on my left hand side. Now this was clearly abandoned because it's boarded up. And the shutters on this, even though they're for cosmetic purposes, these are appealing. They're like, uh, like wood planks, wood panels. I mean, most shutters are wood, but they're like, I would say like an inch by three or four inches wide inch def probably like a half inch maybe not even an inch and then they're like four inches wide and they have like a nice design to it i feel like you know if you're gonna have cosmetic ones don't i mean i don't know to each his own 
but I like that style of cosmetic shutter. Like here's another example right here on my right. These are cosmetic, but they're not like the ones that look like the real ones. They're just like wood planks that make a shutter looking object, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But those are cool. All right, if we go right, that's a dead end. So we're not gonna go right. We're gonna go left. So right here, I see property for sale on my right hand side. There's a for sale sign. Realty, for sale. Then we got a nice little house on my right. Then I see more on my left hand side, another property for sale. You see the little picket sign, for sale. Then we have some regular homes here that seem to be lived in. On my left is uh, no outlet. I'm not even gonna waste my energy and go up there because it's just trees and bushes. We have some residents on my right-hand side sitting on the porch. A gentleman with some dreads and he's talking to probably his significant other. We got the mail carrier on my left-hand side. That driveway on my right looks in good shape. There was a box on my left that read Lancaster News. We're at Arch and Plyer Street. I'm probably gonna make this left on Plyer. Let's take a look at Plyer. House on my right looks like a two story. Got another one story. Another one story on my left. Wow, look at that big building on my right there. It's abandoned. Wow, I wonder what is that? Is that like a church? You see it? It's all boarded up. Got a house on my left. This house on my left got one, two, three, four, five meters telling me that it's an apartment. Five electrical meters. But sir, you're more than welcome to go through. I think he uh, started reversing. It's an older guy. The upper room of Jesus Outreach Tabernacle. Yeah, I knew that was a church. It looked just, just like a church from the side for some apparent reason. All right, we're on Gay Street. Wow, that church. And there's another church right here. Lancaster Presbyterian Church. And there's a cemetery on my right. Those churches were located on Gay Street. Wow, there's another church on my left-hand side, Church of Prayer, and then there's a Masonic Lodge, Jackson Lodge on my left-hand side. All on Gay Street. Wow. Uh, we're on French and Gay. We're gonna con continue passing French. French looks a little droughty. We're about to hit Main Street. Right, we got Lancaster County Historic Jail on my left hand side. Wow, let me let me make a dramatic U-turn here. Cause I think I kind of went by this jail a bit fast. Matter of fact, I'm about to just drive through the parking lot. Look at this is a jail, guys. The jail, Lancaster County, built in 1823. This is the Gaol that Willis W it says G-A-O-L. Not goal, but Gaol. Um, that w Willis W. Also Brook contracted to build for Lancaster District, agreeable to the plans and specifications signed by Robert Mills. In 1868, Lancaster District became Lancaster County, and this structure became the Lancaster County Jail. Wow. So that's how small their, their jail was. I don't know how many criminals you think they can house there. I mean, it's a small town, so hopefully not a lot of people was committing crimes, right? It looks like they have a new addition right there. You see that right there? It's done with stucco on the right-hand side. It looked like that was a new addition. Let me reverse. I don't ruin the wheels. But um, it's made with those, those old-style stones from the 1800s. It's in good shape. It's in good shape for the most part. I've seen buildings of that style and worse condition so it's in good shape and i guess this is a historic jail now they're, they're going to continue maintaining it we got comporium communications in front of us all right give me a second 
So my left hand side will take you to Main Street, but it looks like maybe Main Street converts over to, to Catawba Street, South Cat Catawba. Cause I walked through here the other day and we started off on, on Main Street, but I think, I guess it switched over. I'm all right, we got the Springs House, Art and Gallery. Look, I'm all right, there's a giant, um, wow, was was that here the other day when I walked by? I don't, I don't recall that being here. Let me wait till this car goes by and then I'm gonna position the vehicle so you guys can see this art piece. Look, look at this art piece. Oh, that was them little dogs that I kept seeing there everywhere. Look at there's a little dog right there, a statue painted like rainbow on their lawn. And look at that giant cute. That dog look decent. Did we walk this far? United Methodist Church. I haven't remember the United Methodist Church. For some apparent reason, I don't remember that. I don't think we got this far. We probably turned off one block um, sooner. Well, West Gay Street. Catawba and West Gay Street. Oh, Main Street's on the next block. All right, cool. I thought Main Street turned to Catawba. Catawba and Main Street are two separate streets. Catawba. I guess that's how they might say it. Because I'm like, Catawba, Catawba. But then you got the accent. Catawba. I'm on Catawba Street. I'm thinking I'm gonna get sliced pizza on Catawba Street. You want sliced pizza? <laughs> yeah. We got the first United Methodist Church on my left. What's interesting is people say that I have an accent. I have a Philadelphia accent. I don't hear it. Like I hear everyone else's accent. I hear Dominican accents. I hear Spanish accents. I hear Asian accents. I hear Southern accents. I hear New York accents. I hear Cali accents almost. I hear the like ATL accents. I just I don't he I don't hear a Philly accent. I don't know. I mean Philly people say certain words. That's about it. Bull, John, yo fam. Um I don't know. There's a bunch of other words that, that we say as Philadelphians. People say that water. When we say water, that that's like our accent. Nah. I mean, we could say water. Water. That sounds like you pronunciating it too much. Too much emphasis on the T. So, so I want a bottle of water. That's it. I want a bottle. Matter of fact, did I bring a bottle of water? Yeah, I brought a bottle of water. <laughs> See, bottle of water. But I wouldn't call that an accent. I, I would just say that's how we pr pronounce it. Yo, this light is taking years. Is this thing functional? They're both red? Are they both red? All right, one's green. The one on my left is green. I feel like it was never, ever, ever, ever going to turn. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go, green light. Oh, we got a police station on my left. We should take you out through the police station. <laughs> All right, we're about to cross Main Street, which is cool. See what's on the other side of Main Street. This is Main Street. This runs through the historic district. On my left and my right. If you haven't seen my walking tour, check it out. We literally walk through Main Street. Oh, I was drizzling. We got Flavor Factory on my left. <clears throat> Slay the Kids Way on my left. Universal Karate on my left. The Guardian Building on my left. Williams Fine Jewelry Repair on my right. Um, God's Holy Temple Church on my left. New, it's called the Newness of Life Church. All right. We're on East Gay and South White Street. So I'm going to make a left here. And we're going to see what these little side blocks right here consist of. We got uh, a sign on my left that reads Native American Studies Center. University of South Carolina, Lancaster. Wow. They got a Native American University? Uh, or study university with alterations. With, so we got like a, like a closed like the cleaners, the people who modify your clothes and hem them up and all that for you. JW Watts Tax Service on my left. We got a sheriff parked on my left hand side. You guys can't see him, but there's a sheriff on my left hand side. So on my right, we have Lancaster County Family Independence Center. We're on East Dunlap. We continue traveling straight. about to approach Meeting Street, East Meeting. We'll go up one more block after Meeting and we'll probably make a right on Bar Street. 
Remember I said Meeting had a lot of attorney offices? Look at on my right hand side. On East Meeting, there's even an attorney's office. West Meeting had a lot of attorney's offices. On my right, there's another attorney's office. So we're gonna make this right on Bar Street, B-A-R-R, -R, Bar. We got Watts Rentals on my left hand side. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on East Bar. That house right there on my right has two uh, porches. First floor porch, second floor porch. And I got a lot of patriotic flags. All right, so we're about to make a right hand turn coming up on Market Street. We're gonna turn right here on Market Street. They're doing some work on this side. Now this area looks like it's designed like a little bit more of a grid format than the other area. Remember the other area? It was like another cat. I see another straight cat. Um, from Market and East Meeting. Remember the other area had a lot of like side blocks and back blocks and this area on the map, it looks more like a grid. The houses already appear to be a little bit more upkept than the others. I don't know, I want to speak too soon and then we get to a back block on my left hand side. We're passing Dunlap and then we see something that looks abandoned, so we'll see. Past Dizzy's Hawaiian and Italian Ice on my left, Little Phillies on my right. Wow, you see that little teeny weeny business? Called Little Phillies. They're so tiny, I just want to reverse because they got the most gigantic lot of a lifetime. Matter of fact, let's 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 reverse and let's go through Gay Street, make a left, use Gay Street, but let's exit through Little Phillies. Look at this. It's called Little Phillies, and I'm from Philly. Y'all could at least use our colors, like red um, from like the Sixers, red, or even the Green Eagles, or just something. They they sell Little Phillies. They sell water ice. Uh, that's it, what are I? <laughs> I thought that would have been like a little cheesesteak spot or something. No, it's just Little Philly's water ice spot. I wonder if they're from Philly. You know what I mean? Like if they moved over here from Philly and that's their business. That was a big parking lot for them. Oh, and they got back dining um picnic tables. All right, in front of us, it looks like a steep hill. The, the white car is going uphill, that truck's going downhill. Crowd pleasing ice treats. That's crazy because Izzy's Hawaiian uh, Italian ice is across the street from Philly's water ice. So you got two water ice spots across the street from each other in the neighborhood with very little activity. That's bad to be placed next to each other. Cause like y'all barely gonna get customers. What y'all gonna get like nine customers out of the day and split them? You get four and a half customers, I get four and a half. We got Lancaster frozen foods on my left hand side, wholesale and retail, ham, sausages, pork chops, loins, and more. All right, let's make this left hand turn on Heinz way. Scott's barbershop on my left hand side. Nah, Heinz. Ali, no, that, that that looks like that's a dead end. I got a basketball court on my right hand side, guys. For all you guys who like to play ball, it doesn't look like it's in bad shape either. Let me see if I can sway over to it. Look, 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 a full basketball court. It's empty too, so I guess because the ground is is wet. It got four courts, pretty much four um, rims and two full courts. So you can probably get two whole games on simultaneously without impeding on another person's game. We just passed Mick Cardell. We're on Gay Street and Mick Cardell. We got follicles on my right hand side. Follicles is, uh, it must be a hair spot, you know, cause hair follicles. Let me make this left. There's a cross here, guys. There's a cross, oh man, there's a US Postal Service. All right, the US Postal person went. There's a cross right here. Let me, let me point to it. See right here, that's a cross. Now I don't know if that means somebody was killed there 
or if somebody got hit by a car here, maybe they got hit on the corner and that's where they passed away. Maybe they crashed there. It was, I don't know. I'm just, you know, trying to evaluate the situation. I don't know if this is a heavily crime filled neighborhood. Pleasant Hill, we're on Pleasant Hill. I can make a right, I can go straight. I think I'm gonna go straight. Just to keep the, the up and down format going since we started back on First Street, we was going up and down. Not too much left and right, but we did do a little left and right. Uh, there's an abandoned house on my left hand side, but it looks like they're rehabilitating it. I'm gonna point to it. I'm gonna go to that block, but I'm gonna point to it. You see how they got that giant dumpster right out front of it? The house has a giant hole in the wall, but they're holding up the front of the awning with new pieces of wood and like stilts. And they got a bunch of cinder blocks out front. So they're probably gonna try to go the cheap route and and re um, create a foundation to the house using cinder blocks. That's the cheap route, basically buy cinder blocks, stack them up, build a wall. I mean, it's a sturdy route. Not, not only is it cheap, but it's sturdy. Rather than having to buy the wood and, and have this, this specialty skill, you had a gentleman on my right taking in bagels. He did grocery shopping, he didn't have any bags. All his food is in his trunk. He must have went to something where they charged him for the bags and he said, nah, I'm cool, I'm gonna walk my food in inside. Like how save a lot in Philly is. Well, nowadays some Walmarts are, are, are charging you for bags. Look at for sale on my left. So as you guys can see, the Lancaster County and or the city of Lancaster, we got St. Paul AME Church on my right hand side has a lot of property for sale. We're on St. Paul and Pleasant Hill. In my opinion, this town has the appeal to flourish. Like it has so much potential. There's still so much open green land. If investors came in here and started, wow, this house on my right, oh, I'm about to say this house on my right had a lot of chain link fence. It was the property next to it. Um, if some investors, came in and invested look on my left hand side this is on the east side of main street so i'll take that back there is abandoned houses on both sides i guess the closer to main street you are the better those houses look when you further away from main street you see a lot of these abandoned properties the one on my right is still lived in see it so just to give you like an idea you got Clinton Elementary right in front of us. Look at that's an elementary school. Wow. There's a rock right in front of us that's painted. And the rock says, Rock the Test. C E S 2021. I guess that's Clinton Elementary School 2021. Now, when I was driving over here to South Carolina from North Carolina, I remember that there was a lot of rocks and all the rocks had a lot of colors people were painting see how that was blue well they had a pink rock a big giant not these aren't little teeny weeny baby rocks these are big rocks and the giant stones and they painted them like different colors and they had like designs on them and i don't know if that's some sort of beautification process they're trying to beautify the community so rather than having a big boulder in the middle of the corner while you're waiting at the light, you have a nice colorful stone to look at. But I thought I'd make note of that. Now, let's make this right on Hugh Street. Let me see, is Hugh Street entertaining? Hugh Street looks boring. Let me double check this. But Hugh Street's gonna continue with the grid format, so it is what it is, boring or not, this is what it's like in the country. You got a huge field on my left hand side. On my right hand side, you have trees, trees and weeds. We're now approaching St. Paul and North Hughes. On my left hand side, we got Witherspoon Cemetery. We're gonna continue traveling forward, St. Paul. We have a house on my right hand side. This block's called Hay Circle. 
Let's go around Heath Circle. Yo, y'all think the southern accent's ru um, rubbing off on me? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Philly talking about something. What's up, folks? Chilling? I'm out here from the street Philly. I'm from street Philadelphia. Yeah, the accent down here is strong, bros. And sisters, it's strong. See, see, instead of saying strong, it's strong. Strong accent. So this was a little circle. It just basically, this is called Heath Circle. That is a female, am I right? She's in the car, is it a female or male? It's a female, she's on her phone. She's probably subscribing to Tune 215. This is an abandoned house right here on my right-hand side. She was probably placing a bid on that house to buy it, to mail it to me, to invite me to come move on her block. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're on North Hughes Street and Heath Circle. We got a little bit of trash on my left-hand side. Just a little bit. We got another property for sale on my left-hand side. Dunlap Street, Hughes Street. Let's keep on going forward. Let's make this left over her. Let's make this left hand turn. Let's make this left hand turn right here. We got a playground right there on my right hand side. Wow, I finally see human beings. They're at the top of the block. We're on Dunlap and Witherspoon. There's another house for sale on my left, few properties. I'm gonna keep going straight. I'm gonna see what these, what civilization looks like when they're out here just hanging out. We've been traveling like nine miles an hour. We're approaching Thomas Lane. We have several gentlemen, and it looks like it could be probably like a young woman out here. They look like they're laughing at a really good joke. We on Gregory Street. Forfeited land commission auction this property and others. So they also got auctions around here. We auction property off. We we'll probably go to the auction and buy property for the low. Please wear your mask. Somebody had a sign on their house that said, please wear your mask. All right, we're on St. Paul and North Gregory Street. piece of wood holding up the air conditioner. It was like a, an eight foot piece of wood that was propped up on the ground under the air conditioner in order to keep the air conditioner sh like, sh like level, I guess. This street's kind of rough. Wow, this property on my right hand side looks like a little trailer. It's painted yellow and red. That's like the whole thing, like a McDonald's theme. And every single thing in the yard, all the tires, the, the pots, the plants, the the little spinny things, the windmill thing, whatever. It's all painted yellow or red. Maybe that's like their favorite color. I mean, I understand going with a the theme, but. <laughs> uh, you might as well put the McDonald's logo right out front. <laughs> Probably a uh, person who loves yellow or red. It's cool. 
All right, so let's make this right hand turn. Oh, this doesn't even look like a block. This is no, this, this ain't a block. This is somebody's drive through. It comes up on the map as a block, though. That came up as Fraser, as Fraser Street, and it's a complete block. But when you look at it, it's just half a block and it's filled with uh, trees. Oh, wow, we got some what looks to be relatively new buildings on my left hand side across the street. Yeah, this looks like, I'm gonna go through it because there's an exit all over there. I'm gonna go through this, there's a car behind me, I'm gonna be quick. Private property, residents, and their guests only. All right, we're guests temporarily. This is the Abington Willow Lake Apartments. So this has been the newest sign of housing that I've seen since I've been in this area. And it looks like a housing complex. It's handicap accessible. New parking lot. Bricks on the first floor, some accent on the second floor. Uh, vinyl siding on the second floor and on the third floor. Topped off with shingles, roofing shingles. They got their own little gazebo back there and a playground for children. The playground's taped off, so they might still be in the process of actually working on this facility. But that's one heck of a contrast to show you. We just came from blocks with, you know, a few houses having uh, inhabitants, like people living in it. And you come over here and you see these brand new developments. All right, we're approaching Hazel Street, Willow Lake Road, and Hazel. Oh, those um, apartments are now leasing. There was a big old sign that said now leasing. And then the rest of the homes, they appear to be original. The brick one on my left, look here for. We got some trash out here on my left hand side. I mean, I can't say a house that doesn't look uh, clean, isn't cared for because the people could just not be in a good financial position to upkeep the house or they could be maybe seniors maybe 60 70 years old and they're physically unable to go out and maintain it we're passing greater Fraser Amy Zion Church so I want to be clear there that not all houses that <clears throat> look a little rough are because they don't care they might not just be in a good situation or they might not care they might rather save their money some some people you know prefer to save I don't know there's a nice classic over here on my left-hand side. Uh, I just gotta show it to y'all. I gotta document this somehow. I've documented so many classics just accidentally running across them. The only thing I don't like about it is they got chrome rims. Like aftermarket, like modern age, 90s to 2000 chrome rims. See it back there? It looked nice. But it had chrome rims, like some 16s. Oh, they got the stocks on the back, but the front is a chrome rim. Maybe they were fitting it on it to see like how it looked. But I don't know. I think it defaced the vehicle. What's this? An apartment complex too? We got another apartment complex here, ladies and gentlemen. This looks like it's like a low level one, like a one story one. It's a low rise. We got a gentleman in front of us sitting outside on his property. Good thing about little areas like this is you get your own parking for the most part. And you, know, you get your own parking. You don't get a lot of traffic. So if you got kids, you don't gotta worry about a lot of traffic. You can let them play like in the little uh, parking lot. Look at that Monte Carlo already. You got a flat and it's faded. The rooftop is faded, faded, faded. The hood and all that's faded. It means the sun was beating it up. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we just reached our one hour mark. I'm sorry, I know. But I try to keep these tours at one hour long for viewer retention and upload purposes. If you wanna check out more tours, feel free to visit my channel. There's over 1,400 videos and over 500 of those videos are driving and walking tours. So you guys can check them out and feel free to binge on the channel. Hit that thumbs up button if you like. Leave a comment in the comment section. Share some knowledge, stories, experiences, memories, or any thoughts on your mind if you like. And if you want to uh, help the channel grow, share this video. Or just share my channel link. Share it on any social networking that you wish. Instagram. Oh, wow. Check this out. I'm sorry. Housing Authority of Lancaster. So the houses that we just left. And there's a Rest in Peace Memorial all over here, y'all. Um... Let me just pull over right here because I didn't even expect to see this. This is right in front of the housing authority. I'm going to make this left hand turn. We're going to turn in and it will turn out. But if you would like to. If you would like to see more videos like this and follow us on our journey across the country. Turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a neighbor to tell a cat to tell a dog to tell a hamster to tell a chipmunk to tell a squirrel to tell a cricket to tell uh, another living creature <laughs> about Tune 215. All right, guys, this is your homeboy Tune, Mr. Tune Dallas. Tune be chilling. Tune 215. Y'all know Tuning Cali Fragilistic Expialidocious. And I'm tuning out.